Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ty here, and welcome back to Disaster Log C. Last time, guys, we were journeying on a ship in a post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic situation. I cannot read or speak. Anyway. We got hijacked by this girl with a knife, and she took us hostage of our own boat. Captain Iza. Or, that's what she wants us to call her. But, her name's Iza, so. If you haven't seen the first episode on this game, then make sure you go check it out. It's up on the channel now, and... I don't think I've ever done this before, but... If you want to follow me on my Twitter, it's on screen now. If you want to follow me on Twitter, so. Yeah. I normally don't do that because. I don't think people would really care. I don't know. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get into this. Disaster Log C. 008, September 4th, 127 p.m. Quick update Captain Iza revealed our current destination. She is kind. She has some kind of offshore rock she frequents. Completely private, all her own. I'm convinced it's been long submerged. We're going anyway. End log. Okay, interesting. We should be able to get there before sundown. There's some emergency supplies and treasures I want to check on. Treasures? My trophies from the ships I've conquered. Stolen goods? Heh, <laughs> you think I'm a villain, don't you? Well, come on. Let's hear your honest opinion, hostage. Okay. In, in the last video, guys, if you remember, she mentioned that she... Well, if you remember, we woke up and she had a knife in her hand and said she was going to kill us. And then I said I don't believe she would actually do that. But you never know. But I'm going to stick to what I said and I'm going with the bottom option. Now that you mention it, I think you're all talk. What? You may have taken me hostage, but it may have only been due to your ext extreme circumstances. Something's wrong with your head, hostage. I'm just saying, you let me live under the pretense of serving you, but it could be that. Shut up! Don't say it! You never actually wanted to kill me. Idiot! Are you trying to make me prove my badness? I could throw you overboard whenever I wanted. But you haven't, so far. I mean, yeah, I got a point. I'm done playing with you. Go record your stupid weather data or something. I'm very busy here. She threw a fit. What an odd girl. Disaster Log C, 009, September 4th, 5.46 p.m. Reach the rock. It's a small islet. Looks to be approximately five square meters. Minimal vegetation. What I'm fucking baffled by is how it's still above sea level, unless most of it's presently submerged. How is it still here when the ocean back home was up to where you can see? Disembarking soon. We'll report back tonight and log. Here we are. My treasure trove. Want to come and see inside? Captain, this island. How big was that? How big was it before? What do you mean, how big was it before? It's about the same size as it's always been. Still, happy you taught me about the GPS thingy. Made it much easier to find than usual. I thought, wasn't the ocean rising? Huh? That's the only explanation for how bad it's gotten. Are you an idiot? It was the only explanation. They reported it over and over in the news. You really thought all the randoms making the whole ocean rise that much? 
but the the reports all bullshit obviously what wait don't tell me it's something more than just the rain what do you what do you know there's solid data behind that theory I've seen it I I must have read a hundred threads about it on the net over the past week you're calling that bullshit yeah I am because they got it totally wrong you think the island's top scientists and specialists all got it wrong? You think you know more than them? How often does it rain up there? In uh, what region? B? C? On average. You're the weather girl. Tell me the stats for the rainfall in your region versus the coast. It's... It's about the same across our regions. We're an island. 90 or so days out of the year, we experience light rains. Wrong. I've always heard there are more sunny days the higher up we go. That's nonsense. I counted last I counted last year. All the days I could see the sun. Guess how many I came up with. I'll give you a hint. I could count count them on my fingers. I haven't seen any reports that would suggest Whatever reports you read are bullshit. Are you telling me I'm mistaken? Me, who's lived on the coast all my life. There were ten sunny days last year. I only got as far as three for this one. That's... Why does it make any sense? And all that time, rains never made the ocean rise far enough to swallow my entire home. So obviously, the whole island's sinking. What'd you expect? It's made of mud? The... The whole... Uh, I think everyone would have noticed if... If that were the case, sounds like they were only looking at the water, so of course they'd believe it was rising to swallow them. You upper region nerds only see what's right in front of your faces. That's why you all scrambled and died when the ground fell out of, from under you. I just haven't considered it. Well now, enough lollygagging. You didn't come here to stand around in the rain. Wanna come see my treasure, or what? I mean, I guess... Fine, show me your treasure. That's a good sort. I've never shown it to anyone before. Consider yourself lucky, hostage. What's all this? These are my treasures. All the wonderful things I found on my adventures. It's... Not what I expected. Actually, I was half expecting this is where you kept the bodies. Bodies? Oh, like I'm some serial killer. It was entirely possible. It was entirely possible for you to take me to a cave full of your trophies, intending to add me to your collection. That's pretty dark. You've got some anxiety issues to work through, hostage. Hmm. Luckily, it turned out to be an innocent pile of junk. Junk. Well, I guess I didn't expect someone like you to really get it anyway. Someone like me, huh? Everything in your house was like new. No personality. Extremely boring. You're in my house. Before I snuck on your boat, I checked inside. Yeah, pissed me off. Knowing you buried yourself in all that junk. I, I don't have anyone to provide for, so I have a lot of disposable income. What's wrong with spending it? They're giving it to all the people above you, so they can fill their own houses with nicer, even more useless junk. My collection's different. I know exactly where each piece came from, and who I got it from. From the looks of it, you're a big fan of stealing from children. What, the stuffed animals? Those are, well... They're really important. Not stolen, okay? Hmm? You, you have one too, don't you? Your bear? Yeah, I do. That's how I could tell that you're not bad. What are you talking about? You have a whole pile of stuffed bears and you're awful. Guess it's not a very good measure of character after all. Let's get back on the boat. I'm starving. You want to cook me up a good meal, my dear hostage? Leave it to me. Okay, that was interesting. I was not actually, ex actually I was not expecting that from Isa. Disaster Log C, 010, September 4th, 
10, 12 p.m. Learned a lot today. Or I'm thinking. It'll keep singing until the rain stops, I bet. So I guess there's not much I can do. The net hasn't come back because the servers have been long submerged. So yeah, I guess fuck it. Everyone's dead, probably. Captain Izza showed me the treasure trove that was full of junk. Junk with sentimental value or something. She brought aboard some useful supplies, though, like canned fruit. Gotta fight scurvy if we're gonna be out at sea, definitely. <laughs> and, haha, and then, and then, and then, ugh, I cannot read. Gosh! We're living through the apoc apocalypse, aren't we? There's no sight of normality to return to after this. It's all getting washed away in the rain. Our entire civilization collapsing into the sea. But Captain is using used to the rain. The reports about the coast were wrong. Looking down, you would always see clouds and mist. Sure, but the reports didn't say. No, I mean the reports were bullshit. Captain's words. She saw the sun only ten days in a year. So it's all fucked then. I don't know what I could. I don't know what I should be doing. End log. I think I just need to relax for the night. Come up with a plan tomorrow. A rest will shove off in the morning, and then. Oh, hostage! You're a sneaky one, aren't you? Hiding this from me for so long. Hmm? What do you mean? I found I found all your booze. Let's drink it together. Why, why wouldn't you just taunt me with it and drink it all yourself? What? It's not as fun drinking alone. Are you even of age? I'm 24. And even if I wasn't, who's going to stop me? I would. I'd be irresponsible. You're such a goody-goody, my hostage. Now drink up, unless you're the one who ain't old enough. I'm 27. So old. What's with you today? Showing me your secret treasure, not waving the knife around, and now you're inviting me to drink with you. Trying to be friendly or what? Don't get me go don't get the wrong idea. You're still my hostage. I'm just doing whatever I feel like. That's all. I don't understand you one bit. What's not to get? Long as I live, I'm gonna have as much fun as I possibly can. That's the only rule I live by. Well, sourpuss, want a drink or what? Hmm, should I? I mean, I feel like if I do, there could be consequences. But then again... Yeah, screw it. Yeah, fuck it. Hand over the bottle. That's the spirit. Disaster Log C-011. September 4th, 11.40pm. Drinking with Captain Inza tonight. Probably a bad decision. That's why it's going to be. Uh, that's why it's going in the disaster log. Not sure I care what happens at this point. Fuck it. Maybe it'll be a good time. And log. Hey, can I ask you something? What? Don't make fun of me. I should have asked before, but it's getting ridiculous now. What do you want to ask? Okay, okay. What's your name again? <laughs> oh my god, I never told it to you. I know, I never even asked. Well, what is it? It's Mel. You're, you're a good sport, Mel. Mel? Man, that's weird. I'm just gonna keep calling you hostage. What was the point in asking then? Just to know. I mean, you gotta know, right? What if... We're the sole survivors. I'm not the only one with a boat. What if we were the sole survivors and I didn't know your name? Wouldn't that be fucked up? Oh my god. So what's your story anyway? You can't just ask me that. We're bonding. What else am I supposed to ask? Why don't you go first? Fair. Let's see. I was in a pirate gang. Her gangs aren't real. I was. We ready to reach people's boats. Boats are really valuable on the coast. 
See, you can make a real good living if you have a boat. You can go out and catch a bunch of big ol' fish. Those sell for a lot. I used to dig for clams, but money is no good there. Markets over saturated. Look at you, coast economy expert. You, you gotta know the stuff if you don't wanna be digging in the mod flats for the rest of your life. Anyway, being in the pirate gang was no good either. More fun than the honest living shit, though. Your turn. I already know about your boring job, but why'd you build this ship? I needed a temporary escape route. I knew if the water ever reached my region, it'd be together. It'd be tougher to make it up to A or even B. Figured if the ocean was at my doorstep, I'd just take off and ride the waves until things went back to normal. All by yourself. Yep, all by myself. It was supposed to be temporary, so I figured I could manage. You live alone too. Yep. And you work on the computer. Yeah, from home. I wouldn't be able to stand it. You didn't even have someone to go to your bed. You didn't even have someone to go to bed with, did you? I wasn't looking for something like that. What? You're kidding. I'm not at all. I'm asexual. What's that? It means I'm not interested in having sex with anyone. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. That's not real. Now there are power games. You're one of a kind, hostage. It isn't that rare to be... Nah, I mean in general. Not just because you don't want to fuck someone. Are you glad you didn't kill me then? Want to know the truth? I couldn't do it. Couldn't stab you. Isn't that funny? I called it! I called it! Oh my... Nothing's funny about waking up to a knife in your face. Whether or not you were actually going to use it on me. I think it's pretty funny. You and your big fancy home. I could only dream of. I hated you so much. But then I saw you holding your little bear friend and everything got all messed up. Messed up? Messed up? Yeah, messed up. I was sure you totally sucked and deserved to die. Hey, you should be touched by the change of heart. No way. You're real bad. You're even bad at being bad. This is extremely noteworthy. Disaster log C. What? 12 something. Drunk o'clock. Captain Izza didn't have the guts to stab me. Should I have ever been afraid? None of this mess over here. What are you doing? Our disaster log. Gotta record important facts. Oh yeah, your diary. You talk about me a lot. Izza's gay. And log. Uh, uh, what? Okay, hold up. Okay, that's... <sighs> Just because I couldn't stab you. Whatever. It's late, and the bottle's empty. I'm turning in. I'm already turned in. So much more turned in. Phoned in. Give him the fuck up. Go to bed, idiot. I'm gonna laugh when you're so hungover tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Night, Captain. Okay, that was a interesting conversation. Ugh, my head. Do you need some water? There's enough water. Ugh, the rain is so loud. Should I navigate today? No, I'm the captain. I'll do it. Just give me some time. Sure. Hey, I didn't say anything weird last night, did I? No weirder than usual. Good. That's what I thought. Yeah. Hey, come. Hey, how come you're okay and I'm not? How unfair is that? Sorry, should have... I... Sorry. Should I have held you back a bit? Yeah. You're not even laughing at me over this. Of course not. You're in pain. It sucks. It does. And I ask where you're headed out, headed next. And away from the rain. Ugh. So noisy. I might have some earplugs if it'll help. Stop fussing over me. Just be quiet.
The Zashi Log C013, September 5th, 11.04 a.m. Captain Iza is hungover. While she's recovering, I've had some time to think. Ten straight days of fairly heavy rainfall. It's absolutely unheard of for our island, with the exception of the coast, apparently. So why the sudden change? It's almost like a switch is, a switch was flipped, and the rain that plagued the coast began to plague the whole island. And the upper regions can take it. The money foundation fell apart over the rocky coast. So I build on mud, out of necessity. As long as there's rain, it won't keep its shape. And you and you can only build higher if that's if what's below you stays solid ground. So what if the upper region were built? They created barrens, barriers in the atmosphere. What if they could artificially keep rain clouds from rising past a certain elevation? Forming clouds around the sturdy coast instead, ensuring the pain, the, the rain would fall back into the sea before it could reach us. I would be able to build higher and higher until there was some kind of malfunction, and thus, claimility. Of course, I have no proof of this. It'd be quite an elaborate conspiracy if that, if it were true. Would there be any evidence left if we sent, if we went back now, or has it already fallen into the sea? Keeping this theory to myself now, nothing good can come from telling Captain Isla about it. I hope I can find the truth somehow. End log. Okay, that was interesting, I guess. Where's the hostage? Where's my hostage? Get in here, hostage. So demanding. What is it? Do you feel better yet? A bit. Anyway, I figured out what we should do today. About that, I already had something in mind. Oh? I cheered then. Really? I'm surprised you're willing to listen to what your hostage wants. Oh well, sure, if it's more fun than my idea, we'll do it. And if it's not too bad, I'm not expecting much from a nerd like you anyway. Whatever. I think we should go back. Go back home. Go back? To where? Your home sank? Remember. True, but I'd like to confirm its current state with my own eyes. Don't be stupid. As long as the rain keeps up, there's no point in going back there. Everyone's either dead or desperate. As soon as we get close, we'll get bordered and tossed into the money corpse water. Too dangerous. What's this? A knife welding former pirate afraid of a little danger? I mean, yeah, Isa might have a point there, so I do agree with her on that. Because if you're that desperate to get you know, not in water all the time, then, yeah. I'm not scared, I'm just not stupid. Hmm. Your idea sucks after all. This was time we could have spent sword fishing. Sword fishing? Sword fishing! I want to eat, like, a long... I said long. Like a king tonight. God, I cannot read. I'm blind, what the... What's happening? We're gonna catch one. A big old swordfish. And you're gonna make me a swordfish stick. I don't know how to prepare something like that. Ugh, come on. Where's your scent of adventure? Let's just do it. I could say the same to you. What? About your whole going back idea? I told you, that's... Actually, you're right. It would be pretty epic adventure. We drift in silently, under cover of night. Then you, then we can wade through all the mud and wreck it you want. So, can we go? Only if you catch me a swordfish, then I'll consider it. Right, a swordfish. I'll get our fishing gear. You really do it? Swordfish steak for dinner. Yay, yeah, yeah. I cannot read, God. Disaster Log C, 014, September 5th, 1621 p.m. 1621. Ah, I meant 621. I cannot read for the life of me. Jeez. Might be in for a long night. I convinced Captain Izzo to take us back to our 
Sinking Island, on the condition that I catch that and prepare a swordfish for, for dinner tonight. This, if this is what it takes, if this is all I have to do, I'll do it. A nog. Sword fishing! Sword fishing! Hey, any bites yet? No. Hmm. What about now? Still no. Uh, hurry up and take the bait, swordfish. Why am I the only one casting a line here? Shouldn't our chances of catching something be much better if we were both doing this? Bad plan. It's gotta be you doing the catching. Is that your game? You'll only accept the swordfish caught by your hostage. What? I don't care about that. It's gotta be you because if I catch it, who's gonna wrangle the dang thing? You don't have the guts. I don't appreciate you deciding that for me. Yeah? Well, guts or no guts, your arms are too scrawny. And yet, somehow, expect me to be able to reel in a large fish. I'll help when the time comes. Better be soon, by the way. I'm getting hungry. Still nothing. Did the bait fall off? I'm not checking again. We've done this three times already. I guess we just need to wait a little longer. Hmm? Mm hmm. How about some friendly conversation to pass the time? What do you want to talk about, hostage? Hmm. Uh, the rain. Talk about me. I want to hear about you. Actually, I want to know more. I want to know more about her because we we know some stuff, but not a whole lot. All right, tell me about yourself. Huh? Didn't I already tell you my backstory? I vaguely remember something like that happening. And why not tell me something I don't know? Fine. Here goes. She's hot. She's single. She's Captain Isa. Your favorite fun-loving pirate gal. What is this? Your reality show intro? What's a reality show? Bruh! Okay. Forget it. No one talks like that. Well, I don't know. What else should I say? Hold on. I think I feel a bite. Huh? Really? Then pull! A swordfish! We really caught one! Wow, she looks like a demon in that picture. She wow, okay. Man, hostage, you're amazing! You really did it! We did it! This is scary. Did you see when it failed? It almost got me. Aren't you glad I could wrangle it just in time? Swordfish steak! Swordfish steak! That was so dangerous! Why'd you make me catch one? You feel better now, though, don't you? That's the first time I've heard you laugh this whole trip. That's not true. Don't make me sound like a... Don't make me sound like such a stick in the mud. Either way, that was fun. Let's cook this baby up. As Esther Log CEO 15, September 5th, 1054 p.m. Successfully caught a swordfish for Captain Izza. I admit, the last part was pretty thrilling. I wouldn't do it again, but it was fun. I'll be ready to eat soon, and after that, we'll see if Captain Izzy remembers our deal. And log. Mmm, it smells tasty. It'll be ready in a minute. Sit down. Can't, too excited. Give me a taste right now. Fine, I'll cut you off a little piece. Here, how's this? Hmm, a little underwhelming. But, you know, what makes fish taste even better? Booze! Wait, I don't know if that's actually true. I don't know. Comment down below if that's true. I don't know. We're drinking again? I don't know if I should let you. We do have a mission to go on in a few hours. What? It's fine if it's just a little. We'll see. You still want to go back? I mean, we're persistent on it, so I guess we have to. That was the plan. I wanted to check it out. Food's ready. Yeah. Hey, you weren't kidding about not letting me drink, right? 
Well, we'll just we'll just have a little with our steaks. I'll allow at least that much. Yay, you're the best hostage. Okay, I still feel like Iza does have a point. If we do go back, something's gonna happen. I'm stuffed. What a good meal. I'm still not big on fish, but it wasn't bad. One day we'll find a type of fish you like eating. Ah, doubtful. We will. You don't believe in me. It's a pretty weird goal to have all of a sudden. You'll forget about it soon enough. No way, I'm not that flaky. We'll see. Do you even know who you're talking to? This one's going right on my list of dreams. List of dreams? You have a whole list? Of course I do. Doesn't everyone? Ha ha ha, right, Captain. I believe you. Wanna know my biggest dream? I'll tell ya. If finding a fish. If finding a fish I actually like makes the list, it's probably something unimpressive. Okay, why does she have her tongue sticking out? It's kind of sus. That's kind of sus. Shut up. This one's serious. I always wanted to go out to sea, like way out there. Find a new island where the sun's always shining. A new island. Sorry to curse your dream, but ours was the only one and was sinking. No way. There's got to be others. Science says no, there's nothing out there, just little rocks like the one with our treasure trove. How do you know? Have you ever been out there? Have you already seen it for yourself? Of course not. Then you read all about this on the net too? Give me one reason I should believe you. Hmm, perhaps you're right. See, I knew it. If you're so if you're so convinced, why haven't you taken off to find a new island already? All you need is a boat and the supplies, and you had plenty of access to both. From the kind of life I imagine you lead, you led. Nah, not telling. Why not? That's a stupid reason. Hmm? It's because uh, I don't want to go alone. Oh, I see. No one believed there was anything we could run into. Everyone thinks we were already living on the island, on the island anyone could really live on. That's the continu that's the continuous, but we could find out, couldn't we? What what are you saying, hostage? I mean, if there's really nothing left to go back to, what other choice do we have? Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? We gotta get, we gotta see what's out there. I'm considering it, but that's for later. Later, right. You still want to go back first? I do, but after I settle, I don't, after I settle my shit, we can settle yours. Is that a promise? Pretty selfish to put yourself first when I'm the captain. Sorry. Although you're the one steering the ship, so it's really up to you where you go first. I already said we'd do your thing if you caught me the swordfish. You, and you caught it, and it was worth it. So, when I first saw you, I never would have thought you'd be the type to honor a deal like that. It, it's only fair. It might be bad, but I owe you. Never thought I'd hear those words. Might just be the booze talking. Forget it. I don't owe you shit. Ha, ah, now hold on a minute. Carry me to bed, hostage. I'm too full of swordfish, and I want to get cozy. Whatever you say, Captain. Can't believe you actually cared me. You told me to. You've been a good you've been in a good mood all night. We should have done the swordfish thing sooner. It wasn't the swordfish thing that <clears throat> Well, maybe sorta. See, that's what I'm ask that's what I'm saying. Okay. I will admit you've gotten more and more Tolerable, tolerable, tolerable. Somehow, what? I'm probably just going crazy for being stuck here with you. You're not crazy. You just like t taking care of me. That is out of that is out of necessity. I don't do things for you because I actually want to. Liar! I know why. It's because you're in love with me. 
Imagine that actually being the case. That would... I'd be surprised. Okay. I tolerate you. If I started rebelling now, you might go back to pulling the knife on me. Come on, we're so far behind that. Are we at least maybe friends now? Well, we aren't enemies at the, of the moment. I get it, you're just shy. And you're delusional. Go to sleep. You go to sleep, you're drunk. Let's both get some rest. Wake me up in three hours. You're trying to order me around? If I follow your orders, you just think I'm in love with you. So yes, yeah, so I'm ordering you around this once. All right. Good night, Captain. Sweet dreams, my hostage. Okay. Okay, well. Guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. And maybe there might be something up because she's trying to wake me up. So. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that here. So if you if you enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe, and all notifications on so you never miss a video and comment down below. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.